All right, specifically on those uh, that you asked about there. Um, so if you have the X and Y axes down here, right, obviously in this way, and then Z is up like so. Uh, if you were given phi is equal to pi over 3, okay, well, what you weren't given is theta. Well, what can theta do? Theta can go all the way around because clearly if we're given phi, we're in spherical coordinate systems. So phi, or theta rather, can just do its whole thing. That's interesting. So it can go all the way around. So whatever we have is going to have some kind of a, a circular type symmetry to it. Oh, that's interesting. Well, I didn't mention rho, so rho can be anything. Can be anything. Well, that's just weird. So what we're saying is phi is going to be dropping down from here 60 degrees, pi over 3, that is. Theta can go all the way around. So if you were to trace this out around the, around the top like this, what you'd end up with is a cone. And in fact, that is exactly what this situation is. Okay. And it just, it's a bunch of these, like basically because rho can be anything, right? Rho can be anything. Theta can be 0 to 360. And then, but phi is such that it's pi over 3. So it would be a cone like that, is what you would see. Okay. That's about all you can say about that. And then number 17, uh, r equals 2 cosine theta. r equals 2 cosine theta. Now, for this one, I'd like to just do the following. Now, you're like, well, if J, I feel like this is a situation where, um, if what if I did this in Desmos real quick? I'm going to do it a couple different ways. I'm just going to talk you through here. Remember, you got R. What are we talking about? We got R and theta. We're talking about what? We're talking about spherical, or, uh, cylindrical components. Cylindrical. Okay? So if I were to do this, R equals... Uh, 2 cosine theta. Oh, it's a circle. That's interesting. It's a circle with a radius of uh, a radius of, of 1. Oh, that's interesting. Interesting. Uh, crazy. Crazy. Uh, yeah, interesting. So but what you notice is that uh, that's all in the xy plane. You see that? It's all in the xy plane. Um yeah, so what are you saying? So what I'm saying is this. It's all in the xy plane. Notice that z is not mentioned here. So what could z do? Well, it can come out of the page towards you or going to the page as well. And so if you were to do this, calc plot 3D. Oh, excuse me. Come on, Bessie. Load. There you go. What you can do is come in here. And again, we knew that was a um, cylindrical co coordinate system. Oh, look at that. What do you know? It's the same picture we had a minute ago. The radius of 1 centered at 0, 1, like that. Or 1, 0, rather. But now it just extends up as far as it wants to go. Because why? Because Z wasn't mentioned. So it would be a cylinder with a radius of 1. Centered at uh, point one zero, if you like, or centered on the uh, centered on the uh, centered on the line uh, x equals one. That'd be a good way to say it. Nice. Okay. Uh, yeah. How about that? All right. We're good. All right. Sounds good. Actually, not x equals one. At the, um, come on, Jay. Right, well, how do I say that? Anyway, that's the idea. That's what you want to say. 